guys, in this video, I'm going to explore what total average and marginal revenue looks like for our firms in perfect competition. In my previous video, I provided a fairly basic and general exploration of total average and marginal revenue. I'll link to that video below and above, just in case you would like a more general exploration. So here I have a representation of a perfectly competitive market. On the left hand side, I have a view of the market as a whole which consists of the market demand curve and the market supply curves. The market price is P star and is found at the intersection of market demand and supply. The intersection also describes how much will be traded in the market as a whole, which is Q star. On the right hand side, we have the marginal cost curve for a characteristic firm in our market. I've only included marginal cost here because that's all I need though it is common with our cost curves to see average variable cost and average total costs in these sorts of diagrams too. Our firm in perfect competition is a price taker. So it takes the price that is determined in the market, that was P star, and it sets the quantity that it produces, that's Q star, such that price is equal to marginal cost. So we can start by thinking about total revenue, which is just going to be equal to the price that the firm sells their goods at, multiplied by the amount that they sell, which is Q. And on our diagram, it's actually equal to this area here with the height of the, this rectangle equal to the price and the width equal to the quantity. Our average revenue is just going to be the revenue per unit that the firm sells. So that will be total revenue divided by Q. And I can substitute P times Q in for total revenue and once I cancel out those Qs, we can see that our average revenue is just equal to the price. So in perfect competition, this line of the price that comes from our market, and I'll just make it darker here so it's clear, that's actually our line that tells us our average revenue as well as the price. So as for our marginal revenue, recall that the marginal revenue is the additional revenue that the firm gains, from producing one more unit, which we can find by taking the change in total revenue divided by how much the quantity changes. Actually, when we deal with continuous functions, like we have here, we can also interpret these as derivatives, as the derivative of the total revenue with respect to quantity. Since our firm is a price taker, every time they produce and sell one more unit, the additional or marginal revenue from that unit can only ever be equal to the market price because they have no power to choose to sell that unit at any other price. So for firms in perfect competition, the price is equal to the average revenue, which is equal to the marginal revenue. Now, sometimes you might run into a diagram which tracks the total revenue as the firm increases its quantity. Now, actually such a line would look like this. It would come out from the origin since if the quantity that the firm produces is zero, so is the total revenue. And it would be a dead straight line. This is all about the firm being a price taker. If they increase their quantity, they can only ever sell it for the market price. So the rate in which total revenue increases as the firm increases quantity is constant and equal to the price. That's going to actually be the slope of this line. And I'm just going to mark that there. And that's it. I hope that that helped. That was a short one. If it did help, please like and subscribe. Please check out my other videos and I hope you guys are having a lovely night.